everyone, if you like that look, stay tuned because I'm about to show you how to become a zombie. products I use for this video are going to be down below. I'm going to show them as I use them, but if you want a master list in case you want to go shopping for these products, they will be down below in the comments. To start off, we're going to moisturize the face because we're going to put so much stuff on our face to make us look dead that our skin might die. We are going to put all the wounds first. So I'm going to use the latex and I even have the price on it so you guys know how much it is. Meron, it was $6.99. You don't want to buy those big bottles for 20 bucks because trust me, it's gonna, unless you're gonna be doing zombie every day for the month of October, um, this stuff will expire and then you will have nothing for next year and you just wasted 20 bucks. Make sure wherever you're working, you put a paper towel or a rag on it because this latex will get everywhere. Now, you have your latex, you have, you're gonna need toilet paper. Use the cheapest toilet paper. Thin, because you wanna put layers, make it more realistic to your skin. So I have found that the thinnest, cheapest toilet paper at the dollar store will get you the results you need. So, we are gonna cover as much as we can. How can I do this without describing? We're gonna cover as much as we can here a spot here in the neck so let's start off with the easiest which would be the neck now make sure you wear something you don't care about or put rags but you might as well wear something you don't care about because <laughs> you're gonna be a zombie either way so this I've never had this one comes with a brush if your latex does not come with a brush you can use a silicone Ooh brush that women use to put on um, their face masks at night and you get this at the dollar store or you can use any brush at the dollar store and just it's only a dollar just use it for this and that's it so what we're gonna do is mm, just paint on the latex where you want it You're gonna put toilet paper one layer to try not to overlap at the edges. And you're gonna apply more latex over everything you just did and continue a little out because you want it to blend into your skin. So now you see why I said thin toilet paper and don't make it so uniformed because it won't look natural-ish so now while it's still wet you're gonna take more toilet paper yay so So I'm gonna rip it a little smaller than our wound right now. So I'm trying to layer it so that I can create a gash. Now I'm gonna create a small one right here to balance off the eye. For the eye, I'm going to try to do it without having to bend this because I want it to dry because I don't want any ridges. So I'm going to look retarded for a few, but it works for me because I have the mirror right here. You're not going to want to get any latex on your eyebrows. From up here all the way around down here. As close as we can, but not touching the eye. Wait 
until it dries. A few moments later. So as you can tell, it's turned yellow and uh, it's still, it's not sticky, but it feels like plastic. So we're gonna take the powder, whatever you use to set your makeup, or any white powder, it doesn't matter, any powder. I'm using the Besame uh, Agent Carter one. Just has to be like transparent, I'm using. Just to go over it and not make it as shiny. Now the first thing I'm gonna put is a light uh, foundation all over so I can match mm, everything kinda to my skin. base so i got this set at a local costume store that i'll mention below it was um 4.99 it includes blood and paint the look i'm going for is for like if i turned into a zombie on a fabulous day so i'm gonna use a little i got this because it had a gray uh, i want to create like a paler look than my foundation so i'm gonna put this color over my current makeup You can even go to the dollar store. You just need browns and um, I'm not gonna use green, but I usually use, use green to create veins. But since I have a green screen that I'm gonna be recording another video for this look, I'm not gonna use any greens. Okay, Jennifer, where the heck is a dramatic effect? So, now you're gonna take the, this is the fun part. We're gonna take tweezers. And let's think, which one do you wanna start with? So, which, so let's start with the little one first. So, we're gonna skin. Now, try to puncture the latex. And then make a little rip. the black and inside of every little thing we are going to paint it black in different areas so this one over here so it's like let's point out This, let me know what other looks you'd like me to do for Halloween or anything else you'd like to see in general and please I'd appreciate it if you like comment and subscribe below I'm also gonna link the Tiki Tuesday video that I am doing with this outfit below and here if possible here 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 watch that because you're not gonna miss this deadly drink